new from one of one films is Death Sport. Uh, here we have David Carradine as Kaz O'Shea, and we've got Richard Lynch as a uh, Anchor Moore. God, I love those names. They're just so fantastic. This 1978 uh, film is hampered by the lack of budget. I mean, it really wants to try and go certain places, but it just can't quite achieve it. But it does have a sense of kind of strange watchability about it. As I said, uh, we've got Kaz O'Shea, our main character, a man, a kind of samurai type warrior who roams the land and gets caught at the start by our bad guy, Anchor Moore, and brought to death sport. I'm super excited about this moment in the film because it's got matte paintings. I love matte paintings whenever they appear in films. They just, I, I think they're just a lost art that's just ah, fantastic. He goes to this big arena where they're going to fight to the death. This is a future world where they're made to do this for entertainment for the rich people. Anybody they catch um, out in the wilderness are, are brought here for these games where they're putting motorbikes and just kind of fighting against each other. It was a little bit disheartening. It was a little bit uh, underwhelming to say the least. This was death sport and it just didn't have enough money uh, or to really go for it and create that chaotic moment. And what happens here is you have our main character and a couple of uh, secondary characters escape from this compound. You can trick an enforcer, but you cannot escape your destiny. Death at the hands of Ankara Moore. And then we have Richard uh, Lynch's Anchor Moore character chasing after them for the rest of the, the movie. Now, there is a little bit of a backstory between Kaz and Anchor, as it turns out that Kaz's mother is severely disfigured Anchor Moore many years ago, and Kaz has come to finish the job now. There is an idea of various kind of mutants and different people in the wilderness, and these are, I'm going to say brought to life um, with effects because they're, they're not special. Um, it looks as if they've they're got kind of weird goggles covering their eyes to show how they've mutated. It looks awful, um, almost like a, a kind of low-budget production that you'd find in a community theatre kind of effects. They're awful, but hilariously awful at the same time. Some of the, the imagery and uh, some of the cinematic shots that they have here are downright hilarious. I love some of the moments, the fact that they've got these sort of clear swords at the end that are kind of fun. There is a, a fun beheading to be had later on, which is entertaining enough. But a lot of this one is just people on the run being chased. It can become a little bit repetitive. It doesn't offer much uh, in the form of... Um, new aspects to this kind of story. It's the kind of thing you've seen done lots, particularly that at this time. Feels as if it's kind of taking a riff on Death Race, almost, although not as fun as that film. I kind of like Death Sport, although I'm, I'm not being overly complimentary on it. It was a fun watch. I thought David Carradine was pretty hilarious and, and looks to be um, medicated through most of the movie. I'd rather have a horse. Uh, Richard Lynch is always a great bad guy. It's always great to see him appear in these kind of films and I kind of enjoy them here as well. Uh, some of the secondary characters were, yeah, you know, I didn't really care. Um, didn't have to. A lot of them exit pretty quickly as well. Some of the special effects are just awful. And they don't really get much better than that, which adds to the kind of aesthetic of the film. This is a futuristic, uh, dystopian world where people have become almost barbaric. But there is a hint of, of a cultured people there, which I would like to have spent more time seeing as well. I like some of the mythos that it builds up. Uh, I like uh, Kaz and I like Anchor. I think they're kind of fun characters for the most part, but yeah, this one is a, a one-time watch and almost 
evaporating from my brain as I'm talking about it right now. I would love to know your thoughts on Death Sport if you've seen it. Are you picking up this disc? Is this the kind of thing that you love? Let me know in the comment box below and we'll have a discussion about it. As always, there is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff. Don't forget to hit this video with a like button because I believe it helps the channel somehow. And if you go to the description box down below, you will see links to Patreon, membership program, or manvfilm.com. All ways in which you can support this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.